Hello and welcome to Jump and Johnny Gaming. This cast in a Frank Stone video shows you how to get all the collectibles found in Chapter 5. This is the longest chapter so far with a lot of collectibles and specific ways to get them. There is two champion artifacts, five trinkets, two relics and one murder mill artifact. You will have to play this chapter twice as there is one trinket in each choice of a specific path. Both will be shown. When the chapter begins you will be in the garage. Straight ahead will be a desk that's next to Robert with two pieces of paper to inspect and read to unlock the fifth champion artifact. I'm sure no one was sad to see it. There were suicides. At the mill? Not at the mill, but like people who worked there or got laid off. Unless sure can't get enough of Frank's. I wonder if Linda's okay with all this Frank stuff. At the back of the garage behind Linda is a book on top of a washing machine. Read it for the third murder mill artifact. When you get to the mill, after the garage sequence, you will be given a choice of two routes, climb or cross. Each segment will take you to a different trinket and you will have to complete the game or you might unlock it with the pre-order access is the cutting floor and go back to this choice. This section I'm picking climb, I'm going to cover the cross section straight after. After the cutscene, keep to the left and you'll see a fence. Past the fence you will see two rocks that you can squeeze through and you can get trinket number four. Well, they ran for the 10th anniversary. I had a cool title though. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood From a Stone. Damn. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? Good question. The second choice where you have cross you will come across a balance beam and then head left instead of following Robert and go across another beam for trinket number five. Chris Gordon. Another victim claimed by Frank Stone. And grab it. As Chris in the storm drain, follow Robert through the first metal door and then head left. Go through the gap and pick up the fourth relic. There is an essential item to get in the storm drain to get a trinket later on in the level, and that's some keys. Head back to where Robert is, and then keep to the right, you will see an open window. Go through it, go through the door, and in the right hand corner is a set of keys to take. The game won't track your keys, so don't use the cut and floor at any point, or you will lose the keys. sure about Linda's new scene, but if I pull up, huh, we're a little key. To get trinket number six, you have to make sure that you don't snap the crowbar in chapter one, when as Sam, you have to open the grate and not fail the QTE. <coughs> 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 
Then when you play as Linda, you will be in the same area as Sam was. Turn around and head left and go straight forward to the grate that Sam went in and you will find the crowbar. Head left and walk diagonally to the left and straight ahead is some double doors that you use the crowbar and enter and get trinket number 6. When you enter the furnace, follow your friends. You will see the trinket on the right, but you can't reach it. Don't talk to your friends. To the right of them, on the floor, you will see a chain link path. Follow the path up the stairs and head right. Follow it through the pipes and pick up the valve. Then backtrack up the metal ramp to the middle area and go to the square grey box and put the handle in and turn it and it will move the platform with the seventh trinket. Playing as Chris who wants to go to the machine shop, after the cutscene head to the right hand side, go through the open door and gap in the wall, follow to the dead end and you will get relic number 5. Why is it always clowns? Head back through to outside the large door you saw earlier and you have the keys so you can open them and in front of you is a red trolley. You can move to the right hand side signified by the yellow cloth and you can climb up both. What do you mean? Uh, it's, it's more like an obsession and it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever but... Head right and follow the linear path, and over the balance beam and knock the ladder down.
head down the ladder, go straight ahead, and there will be two big metal shelving units to pull forward, and then go back up the ladder and jump over the platforms, and the eighth trinket will be there just before the next ladder. As Jaime, when you break into Frank Stone's boxcar, before you examine the jar to continue the story, the sixth champion artifact is on the table. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel where there are more horror and first person shooter videos. Also, the channel has achievement trophy guides, secrets, and tips from the latest releases to classic retro games. Thanks for watching.